welcome to my channel in today's video i'm going to talk about astral travel or you can say astral projection so watch this video till end and stay connected with us for more informative videos like this so let's start so you have probably heard of astral projection the name itself conjures a psychedelic imagery which is associated with dreams and meditation it is a phenomenon that has been around for centuries but what exactly it is and can anyone astral project so in this video i'm going to talk about the astral projection i will provide you with a guide to astral projection for beginners and explain step by step what astral travel really is and how it works and the techniques i will also discuss at the end of the video okay so let's start with the meaning of astral projection so astral projection is an out of body experience where your consciousness leaves your body and explores new levels or new planes of existence however it differs from most out of body experiences as it is planned and in it is planned and intentional astral travel astral travel is an ability that we can learn and work on it is a spiritual journey involving the beliefs that we have an astral body the astral body links our physical body to our soul and is a vehicle for experiencing higher consciousness the astral body also referred to as a light body and can move from the physical body and visit astral planes and world with astral dreaming and astral travel you can visit the astral planes so this is a home to angel spirit and souls astral travel can also take you to the different places and times throughout history there is a whole load of amazing things that we can experience with the astral projection astral projection versus lucid dreaming let's talk about it so astral projection and lucid dreaming are similar however they are two distinct phenomena lucid dreaming is the ability to control your dreams when you are sleeping whereas astral projection is usually assessed usually assessed during meditation when you are lucid dreaming you are not leaving your body with astral projection your body your astral body does leave your physical body is astral projection dangerous so a lot of astral projections experiences are incredible they allow us to guide they allow us to go outside of our physical world and see things that we never thought were possible through astral travel we can develop our we can develop our spirituality seeking out help from the souls and angels on the astral planes we are able to use these experiences to grow and find our life's purpose However, a lot of beginners are concerned about the dangers of astral projection. Of course, when you are working with your psychic powers and spiritual abilities, there is always a risk of things becoming a bit too much and overwhelming you. So, let me tell you, astral projection is usually safe and there is no chance of physical harm when practicing it. However, there may be emotional and mental risk involved with the astral travel. psychological vulnerability so if you are suffering from psychological issues so do not try to astral project i'm again repeating this if you are suffering from psychological issues or mental issues do not try to astral project this is not for you you need to focus on finding your balance in the physical world only self care is a super important for everybody so in order to stabilize yourself in the physical world make sure your chakras are balanced so working with the chakra stones can improve your mood and help you find the peace you are needing affirmations are also a great way of boosting your self love and finding balance and meaning in the physical world if you are feeling vulnerable do not astral project work on yourself and find your real happiness astral projection as a way of escapism So visiting the astral plane and going on these adventures are truly amazing and can really help us find out who we are as a spirit. However, 
when you have learned how to astral project there is a risk of overdoing it and relying solely on astral projection for happiness and meaning this creates an imbalance and means that you will become detached from the physical world this can really harm your personal growth and might mean that you are avoiding issues that you need to face unwanted visuals when visiting the astral realm you will see things that you never ever seen before this is by astral travel is so wonderful but it can also cause stress so when you are astral traveling there is always a risk that you will see something scary and unwelcoming if you are not prepared for this so really trust me astral projection is not for you just remember you cannot be physically harmed in the astral planes astral projections how to astral project and astral projection meditation step by step now that is and what the benefits and dangers are let me explain you the astral projection techniques that allow you to travel to new planes of existence while it does take time of mastery and everybody has the ability to learn how to astral project so when you are working on these techniques stick to a specific one for at least a month and during this time you will connect to your astral body if after the month this technique doesn't seem to be working focus on a different one astral projection meditation step by step so astral projection is most likely to be assessed by a meditation and visualization techniques while meditating this is where you are consciously assessing the astral planes for by focusing on the intent of astral travel meditation is different from meditation is different for everybody and sometimes you need to develop your meditation techniques before you attempt to astral project so i only want to say that meditation a very high highly powerful meditation is the key to astral project so firstly you need to learn from the basic so firstly start doing meditation don't jump directly into the astral projection okay so here is my step by step guide for the astral projection for the beginners so step 1 set yourself a time to astral project perhaps you pick 6 pm so in the hours up to 6 pm you should keep reminding yourself that you are going to astral project at this time second step when it comes to the time lie down on your bed on the bed with closed your eyes stretch out your legs back and arm focus on unraveling your physical body letting go of the stress and feeling of the day third step relax your muscles and focus on breathing inhale through your nose for count four for four counts and exhale through your mouth for six count count along in your head do this until you feel you can feel your body and mind relaxing and getting lighter now fourth step now take your awareness away from your physical body onto your intention of astral traveling fifth step repeat your intentions in your mind telling yourself that you will astral travel now step 6 now select somewhere in your home and imagine you walking to it perhaps you pick the chest of a drawer in your spare room imagine yourself getting up out of your body leaving the room that you are in and entering the spare room and walking up to the chest of the drawer now last step seventh one keep this vision and your intentions in the mind and soon your astral body will begin to leave your physical body so keep practicing this technique every day and hopefully soon you will see the result there is also another technique for the astral projection now i will also explain it in step by step so listen very carefully so how to astral project the between sleep technique so one way to access astral projection is to use your one way to access astral projection is to use your hypnagogic state in order to enhance your connection to the astral realm 
The hypnagogic state is where you are half awake and half asleep. This is where our consciousness is open to the new ideas and sensation and our mind tends to float freely. So step one. The first step to this technique is to relax in the bed, in the bed as if you were going to sleep. Make sure it's dark and try to empty your mind. Allow it to wander freely and allow yourself to receive the flow of the ideas from your mind. Steps. Step second. You will soon enter the hypnagogic state when you have keep relaxed and maintain your eyes closed. Third step. When you are in this state, you may see in patterns, colors and visualizations. Let them into your mind and when you are ready, focus slowly on them. Let it float through your body. Let it float through your mind. Allow it to go if it wants to go. Depends your relaxation. Fourth step. At this point, you might feel your body vibrates. This is not actually your physical body, but your astral body. The vibrations is your astral body trying to leave the physical realm. And the last step. Now visualize a rope. Visualize your astral body grabbing the rope and pulling you up out of your bed. Climb the rope. Okay, so this was the last step of the second techniques for astral projection. So if you are ready to astral project, try out these techniques and be sure to practice them regularly. And soon you will be able to visit the astral realms. Here you can discover so much about yourself and your place in the world. So enjoy and embrace this journey. And thanks for watching this video. Stay safe and stay connected.